uh, I'm half Filipino. I came to find the wife. The problem is there's a stigma. Yeah, I learned it from a bar girl. Oh man, the Filipino girls here. Foreigners do get scammed. Hi, what's your name? Me? Yeah, you. I'm Greg. <laughs> Greg, nice to meet you. Where are you from? I am from Columbus, Ohio. Buckeyes? Buckeyes. Buckeyes. Yeah, we just got beat by Michigan. Oh, boo, boo, Michigan. Yeah. Go <laughs> Our, blue, right? That's right. And what brings you down here to the Philippines? Uh, I came to find the wife. Okay. Any luck? Zero. Handsome man like yourself? O H. <laughs> All right. So, how long have you been here? Uh, about four weeks. Yeah. Been bad experience since the beginning. Uh, tell us all about it, man. Yeah. No potential wives, suitors, nothing. Yeah, no. Bunch of uh, bola bola. Bola bola, huh? You know what bola bola? Is? I don't know, but I can't imagine it being good. I learned it from a bar girl. Okay. Bola bola. Is that uh, bullshit? Bullshit. Oh, bullshit. bullshit. Got yeah. it. It is yeah. bullshit. So I guess no luck dating women. Mm, no, none. Yeah. What none. seems to be the issue? I'm curious. I smile. Mm -hmm. and they, they like turn away. Yeah, they're not happy. I, I, I don't know what that means. I mean, lady boys are hitting on me like crazy, though. Okay, and not into that, I guess. Mm, no, no. Some of them are really nice, but it's not gonna happen. Okay, what's like a red flag? Now that you've been here for four weeks, what is something that you could just immediately tell? You know what? It's a red flag. Uh, if they ask for money. Mm -hmm. Naturally. Pretty much. Yeah, I uh, got bad situation with some bar girls okay so, yeah they're good at hurting your feelings yeah I could imagine man that's why I think it's better to perhaps look elsewhere if you want a wife I mean I don't want to generalize yeah, yeah. but I guess you know yeah yeah you do the dating or the online stuff and yeah. pretty much same stuff hey can I come give you a massage yeah extras you know but it is what it is. Okay, aside from the women, obviously no luck yet. Hopefully you just come across the right one. That happens to all of us. What else do you like or dislike about the Philippines? Um, I think Wang asked me that same question. What what, what do I like about the uh, Philippines? And I said the rain. <laughs> I see no rain here. No. Wasn't that? Uh, wasn't a very good answer. I'm not good at interviews. That's yeah, no, you're man. doing great, man. I That's never even thought. Anyway, so what? What about like this? Like the the traffic, something that can be better, maybe. I yeah, don't know. food's good. Traffic is horrible. Yeah. I mean, unless you're on a motorbike, mm. you just scoot through the traffic. Exactly. Yeah. My favorite way of traveling, man. Yeah, the traffic is horrible. I can't. I don't understand why it's always so backed up. I think it's just too much development, probably. What would you do differently if you knew what you know now before you came here? Anything different? Uh, probably, I don't know, prearrange something. Yeah. I would think it would be better if we okay. prearrange. I see, as in like meet somebody first kind of thing and yeah. then agree to meet them here? Yeah. That kind of thing. So you did no like online dating or nothing before coming here? Uh, no. Okay. No. And haven't really did any while I'm here. I mean, do the free stuff. Yeah. I ain't paying for any of the services. Yeah, it is what it is. Do you think you'll check out some different places around the Philippines or just pretty much Cebu? Yeah, no, I've been to Oslop, did okay. the uh, whale killer sharks. whale sharks. Yeah. And that was probably the best experience so far. Definitely. Swimming, swimming with the whale shark. Yeah. Yes, they're giant, right? They're huge. Humongous. I just wish I had a GoPro underneath the water just so you get the picture with, with, uh, they're absolutely fantastic. I've done it myself and once in a lifetime for me for sure. Oh, yeah. it's great. Then went down to Dumaguete. Mm -hmm. There was a meet and greet with some YouTubers. Okay. Met uh, Paul. Paul nice. in the Philippines. Yeah, he's a nice old guy. dog, new trick. Oh, hell of a nice guy. Uh, it's my dad's 90th birthday and he did a little video for my dad. Oh. So my dad loved that when I sent it to him. Congratulations. My, my dad's been watching him for like seven years. <laughs> Called me in his bedroom. Hey, look at this guy on YouTube. He's living on his social security in the Philippines. Got a young girlfriend. <laughs> living life. And you came here and met him. <laughs> yep, came here and met him and uh, thought I would uh, find something like him. You know? uh, it's still kind of early. Four weeks. Don't give up yet. There's a lot of good women out here if you just uh, give us some time. And I don't know how much time you got here, but I mean, you know. Yeah, I met with quite a few YouTubers mm -hmm. in uh, IT Park, and a few that 
didn't want to meet. Yeah, <laughs> it happens often. Or, or said they wanted to meet, but you know, don't respond once you get here. Yeah. Well, I'm always here, man. If you want to grab a coffee or whatever, I'm here for you. Sounds good. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Yep. Hi, what's your name? My name's Jason. Um, I'm from the, well, born and raised in the UK, but uh, I'm half Filipino. My parents actually come from here. Okay. Um, so I'm half British, half Sabuano. Nice. Uh, and I'm here on vacation at the moment. Can you speak Bisaya? Oh man, only a small amount. <laughs> I, I pick up a few words uh, yeah. every time I come here, but not enough to like maintain a full you know, yeah. conversation with, with the local. Got it. Aside from family, what do you like the most about the Philippines? Oh, um, for me actually it's the climate. I know yeah. some people uh, who I won't name say that it's very sticky heat, it's mm -hmm. not that nice, but I, I, I love it. I mean, compared to the UK, right now in the UK it's I think minus one degree Celsius, mm -hmm. freezing, and um, we're here in November and it's everybody's sweating. So yeah. it's, I, kinda, I like that. <laughs> I love the heat. That's what I'm made for. Really. Yeah. Yeah, those people are me. I yep. think it's, no, no. <laughs> it's definitely sticky for me. I, no, no shame about it. I'll, I'll say it right now. Yes. Okay, what about any like annoyances, something that annoys you about the Philippines? I guess the only thing, if I if I really have to say it, it would be traffic. It is yeah. traffic is crazy. I thought about hiring a car here uh, one time, but mm -hmm. I'm way too scared to drive here. Like, yeah. you're driving. There's motorcycles coming left and right. Yeah, I don't want to kill somebody. So, for sure. the traffic is the craziest part. But even then. I think uh, what makes up for it is the people. The people yeah. are, you know, very happy people, very smiley, very kind, very patient, and yeah. um, the food is amazing. Yeah. Things are cheap, so of course. if you're traveling from the US, UK, very, very cheap compared to what we're used to. Yeah. And um, I'd say it has some very beautiful locations. The waterfalls, some some of the beaches are some of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. Traveling across different islands, there's a lot to do here. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. What about dating? Have you dated any Filipinas? I've dated quite a few. I've dated yeah. quite a few. I, I can't say, I can't say that um, my experience has been amazing actually, because wow. the problem is there's a stigma. If a, if a Filipino girl goes with a man, a foreigner, they, well, whether they say it or not, there is kind of this idea that you are, are wealthy. They believe mm. that if you're from the states or the UK, they do believe that you can provide a certain type of lifestyle. Yep. And um, for me, I've always wanted a, a natural relationship. I've always wanted something where, you know, our feelings are, are, are real. It's not based on transactions or anything. Yep. So I've had a few issues in the past uh, with girls that they just expect me to pay for everything. Yeah. That, that's something that I really don't, don't like. Um, but I don't want to say that's every girl as well, because everybody's individual. So. Maybe the experiences I've had or the girls I've been with were just, I'm just bad at choosing them probably, but <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there is that. You've got to be aware that, like, I don't want to lie to anybody. That is a real thing. Foreigners do get scammed and you have to be so smart and, and understand what you're dealing with here. Definitely. You've got to make sure she loves you for who you are. Okay. That's probably the best advice that I can say. All right, man. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely, man. Yeah, uh, it was great. Great seeing you. We just got bumped into each other. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely. I'll hopefully see you around again, man. Awesome, man. All right, man. My name is Jason from London. How long have you been here in the Philippines? Uh, for about two weeks. And what brings you down here? Uh, my friend is Filipino. Half Filipino, half mm -hmm. English. So I come here with my friend and we're just enjoying the great weather, great people. Excellent. Great weather, great people. What are your first impressions so far? What do you think of this country? Oh, it's amazing. It's just so peaceful. Mm -hmm. People are so friendly. It's amazing. Have you dated any Filipinas? A uh, couple Filipinas. <laughs> I was going to say, I could tell from your smile. You yeah. got something nice going on here. <laughs> yeah. Any difference between dating a Filipina compared to London girls? Oh man, the Filipina girls here, they just wait on you hand and foot. Mm. They'll treat you nice, yep. nice and respectful. They're the female, you're the man in the relationship. It's perfect. Sounds great to me. Any dislikes so far in the Philippines? Something like to be better? Oh, nothing, nothing. Everything's perfect. Couldn't wish for more. Okay. So is your best friend or your friend your wingman or are you meeting these girls online? How do you meet them? Oh, we just go up to them. So okay. you just go up to them. Just got to show up. You got to look your best. <laughs> be the best. Show up. Say what's good. My name is blah, blah, blah. Uh, can I have your Facebook? Yeah. Chat to them on Facebook. I'll meet you up later. They say, of course, yeah. Go to a bar, get some food. And then right. obviously things escalate. My man's experience. I like that. I like that. Okay. <laughs> what about any red flags? What red flags do you look for dating a Filipina? Red flags. I tell you what, they say later, later. Mm. Everything's later, later. 
So you'll try and meet up, meet up, and they go, oh, I can't do this, can't, do, can't meet here, can't meet there, I'll meet you tomorrow. It's a bit like, um, yeah, they're just like a bit flaky, a bit flaky. Mm. So you've got to have your numbers up. It's a numbers game. Numbers <laughs> game, right? Cut them off, right? Yeah, Any excuse game. is just like cut them off, right? That's, that's it. it. That's it, my man. All right, man. Well, that's thank it. you so much for your time. I appreciate it. My man. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of these foreigners' red flags when dating a Filipina. Now, I'll be honest, it really depends on what you want when you're dating somebody. Do you want like a long-lasting relationship? Are you dating to marry? Are you looking to just have some fun? You know, it really depends on what you want. For example, somebody might see me, oh, some random dude wearing a sleeveless t-shirt might be a red flag for some women. I don't know. But the, the point is, it really depends on you. Personally, for me, I wouldn't judge people, I think, before you get to know them. I usually tend to ignore some red flags at the beginning because there might be some explanation, cultural differences, you know, a different upbringing, different way of life, and you can never really judge somebody by what they're doing initially, what they're wearing, or how they speak, because some people are nervous. Some people are not very comfortable talking in person. Everybody's online now. And ladies, don't worry, we're gonna do this in reverse, okay? We're gonna give you a chance to tell us red flags when dating a foreigner. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button so you don't miss that video coming up soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.